minus 5 minutes, 40 seconds and counting. On the off chance that you were not with us first time around, as we are now a little over 21,000 of you have joined us, so odds are pretty good that you may have missed our trajectory chat the first time. Do get that asked quite a bit, so let's go ahead and talk briefly about where this Falcon 9 is going to be going once it leaves the pad. Of course, it's launching from Space Launch Complex 40 over at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, and it will fly in a southeast trajectory heading toward the Caribbean. The first stage booster, B-1058, will be landing on the drone ship a short fall of Gravitas after stage separation. The upper stage will carry on with the 53 Starlink satellites. The fairing halves will jettison just a little bit south of the map you see here on your screen with the recovery vessel Doug taking the reins tonight to scoop those up and bring those back into Port Canaveral to be refurbished and turned around for a future flight. The T minus four minutes, 27 seconds and counting. The strong back retract has begun. Those clamp arms underneath the payload fairings opening up, getting ready to allow for the transporter rector of the strong back to tilt away from the Falcon 9 rocket. It'll stay in that position until liftoff. You see those clamp arms opening there. Bit of housekeeping, but want to note our countdown clock is a little bit different than what you see SpaceX's down at the bottom of your screen. Reason being for that is our countdown clock is in real time. The SpaceX clock is on a little bit of a delay. So we will call things out according to real time, of course, because all of our tracking cameras are here on the ground and we want to make sure you see things as they are. We'll keep the SpaceX feed, have that in boxes just a little bit later as we step through this process. Now T minus three minutes, 10 seconds and counting. Three minutes to lift off. The rocket's autonomous struct system will be armed shortly and liquid oxygen topping is being terminated soon. Stage one lock load complete. Yeah, the call stage one lock loading is wrapped up in just a little bit over a minute. They will be done loading liquid oxygen onto the second stage as well, at which point fueling will be completed. Want to briefly thank a few super chats we got in before we get into the last minute of the count. Kellen526, the $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Kellen. Glad to see you again. Nelson Reyes. The $10 Super Chat saying thank you for the great coverage. Thank you so much, Nelson, for joining us again and for the support in doing what we do. Roseanne supporting with a $5 Super Chat. Really appreciate all the Stage support, two, Roseanne. Complete. The Falcon 9 is now fully fueled with 1 million pounds of propellant. See that launching at the pad happening right now? It's SpaceX purging the strong back propellant lines prior to launch. And you're welcome, Roseanne, for giving you the trajectory. Happy to do it. And last but not least for now, a new uh, channel member, Stu Rifkin, joining at the pad leader level. You can now watch this launch in just over a minute in 4K. Thank you so much. Ground really appreciate the support. As we come into the final minute, Hit the like button, that'd be great, so more folks can see this launch. Now, just over 60 seconds away. Coming up in just a few seconds, we'll hear the launch director give their Talk go for launch.
LD, go for launch. And you hear the launch director give the go for launch as we are now less than 30 seconds away from the 60th mission lifting off from the Cape this year. An historic 18th flight for this booster once again becoming the launch leader. 15 seconds. And here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of booster 1058 going for its 18th launch to date, supporting the Starlink 6-26 mission. Now 15 seconds into flight. Now 30 seconds into flight and we're hearing the rumblings of the nine Merlin engines from the press site. Let's listen in. Now 50 seconds into flight, the Merlin engine should be throttling down soon as the vehicle approaches max Q, the point of greatest aerodynamic pressure on the launch vehicle. These tracking views from Pete Carson's. And our own Adam Bernstein here at the press site, the NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Some great views as the Falcon 9 continues to climb. The vehicle now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Now approaching a minute and a half into flight. Here the call off for Max Q. T plus one minute, 45 seconds and counting. Here the call out that chill down underway on the second stage to thermally condition that single Merlin vacuum engine for ignition. Getting some great tracking views this evening from our team out in the field. This view coming from Pete Karstens. This from Adam Bernstein. Now a little over two minutes into flight. We're approaching main engine cutoff or MECO where the Merlin engines will shut down. This will be followed in quick succession by stage separation and the ignition of the upper stage, that Merlin vacuum engine. We'll see the jettison of the payload fairings shortly thereafter. Some great colors in this view. As you see Miko on your screen, stage separation. And you see that Merlin vacuum engine coming to life. Keep an eye out for those payload fairings, which will jettison in just moments. You may be able to see the glinting away as they leave the upper stage. You see the delay on the SpaceX feed there on those boxes on the right-hand side of your screen. Great views from Pete Carson's tracking camera. You see those payload fairings now falling away, glinting off the reflection of that Merlin vacuum engine. Should see that in the SpaceX delay right now. And those 23 Starlink satellites now exposed to the vacuum of space for the first time this evening. Oh, and you can still see the payload fairings in Pete's tracking view. It's quite remarkable. Now T plus three minutes, 43 seconds into flight. As we come up on T plus four minutes, our next big milestone here is going to be T plus six minutes and 12 seconds. That's when the first stage entry burn will begin. That should be visible from either Peter or Adam's tracking camera. We'll keep an eye on that for you.